Unraveling intransitive phrasal verbs. Hello learners. Today, we are going to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of phrasal verbs. More specifically, we are going to focus on intransitive phrasal verbs. They are an essential part of the English language, and understanding them can really level up your English skills. First things first, what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and one or more particles, usually a preposition or an adverb. They can be quite tricky because the meaning of a phrasal verb can be completely different from the meanings of its separate parts. For instance, the verb give and the preposition up separately don't mean the same as the phrasal verb give up, which means to quit or stop trying. Moving on to our main focus, intransitive phrasal verbs. These are phrasal verbs that do not require an object to make sense. This means that the sentence will still be complete and understandable even without mentioning who or what the verb is acting upon. Let's look at an example, she woke up early. Here, woke up, is an intransitive phrasal verb, and the sentence makes perfect sense without needing to know what was woken up. To better understand intransitive phrasal verbs, let's look at some examples. 1. Turn up. This means to arrive or appear. For instance, he didn't turn up for the meeting. 2. Fall apart. Meaning to break into pieces, either literally or figuratively. Example. My plans for the weekend just fell apart. 3. Pass out. This means to faint or lose consciousness. Like in, it was so hot that I almost passed out. Remember, each of these examples does not require an object to complete the meaning. And there you have it. That's your introduction to intransitive phrasal verbs. Understanding these will not only help you understand English better but will also help you sound more like a native speaker. Keep practicing, keep using them in sentences, and soon enough, they'll become second nature. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.